guys, this is Bella. She is a Yorkshire Terrier. She's going to get a fusion inspired style with a short trim on the body, long flowing legs, and a rounded puppy face. So let's get busy. Starting with the bath, we're going to wet her down and get ready to shampoo her using iGrown Tearless Facial Shampoo. Such a sweet girl. Working it all in around the face. Combing out the mustache where she has all the sticky stuff. Careful not to get it in the eyes. Rinse her really good using a lukewarm water. I am using eye grown prebiotic conditioner. It's important to rinse off all the soap and conditioner residue really, really well. I usually rinse twice as long as I think I need to. I use a good quality ear cleansing solution. I fill up each ear canal with the cleansing solution. This loosens up wax, dries up any water that might have gotten in the ears and gets rid of debris in the ears. Let the dog shake its head and wrap the dog up in a nice warm towel. To blow dry Bella, I will be using a Mason Pearson brush and Artero Flexible Slicker, Artero Nail Trimmers, and a Mecca Art Nail Grinding Tool. I will also be using a Diane Comb. The blow dryer I am using is a Schoenbau Wall Mount.
for her trimming, I will be using a 7F blade on a Shern Bow Digital Clipper, a 10 and 30 blade on a Artero Spectra Clipper, a 40 blade on a Heininger Opal Clipper, a Utsumi Fine Tooth Comb, a Chris Christensen Face Comb number 006, Artero Super Curvy Shears, Zolita Blending Shears, Curved, and V3 Shears, Straights, 7 inch. Using my 7 blade, going from about an inch past the skull down to the tail, I'm going to clip her straight back with the lay of the coat. All the way to her tail, but not taking her tail super short. Following the lay of the coat, I am clipping the trunk of the body. Taking her underline short. Skimming off of her thigh down into the back leg because we do not want poofy hips. Skimming off of her shoulder down towards the leg. Good girl, Bella. On the chest, you can see she has hair that grows this way, this way, this way, this way, and it comes out into these cowlicked areas. We want to be very careful how we trim that so it doesn't come out looking balded. So this hair that grows straight down in a V shape, I'm going to come in and take that. I'm going to angle this way for the shoulders. Good girl. And then I'm going to come back in with a longer blade to trim this area. That'll keep it from having that balded look in those cowlicked areas. Good girl. Going to lift her up and trim the underside of the dog. Good girl. Check her over before hooking her harness back up. To get the base of the neck, you can loosen up the harness here. Slide it down. Clean up this area. This is the Groomer's Harness. It is available at groomersharness.com. Mm -hmm. The Groomer's Harness Pro comes with extenders. It allows it to fit dogs from two pounds to 115 pounds.
has D-rings on the front that allow it to be used with the groomer's harness anchor, the groomer's harness tether, or if you already have a groomer's helper, you can hook it up to that. On the back end of the dog, I'm going to come in and clean up this area. Going to trim off the underside of the tail. Good girl. That's very nice. Using my Heininger clipper, I'm going to clipper the pads of the feet with a 40 blade. One more. With my Artero Spectra Clippers set on a 15 blade, I'm going to trim the top third of the ears, clipping off the hair, going from the center up center out, center out on both sides of the ear. Good girl. Good girl. Using my hand in a C shape, I'm going to stretch back the skin on the skull, put my clipper on a 10 blade, and come in and trim the corners of the eyes. Good girl. Lift her up and trim the tummy. Good girl. Using my Paw Brothers brush with the plastic tips, I am going to brush down the hair around the feet, pulling the hair up between the toes and clipping off anything that falls past the pads of the feet. Very carefully, being careful not to nick her pads with the scissors. Repeating this on all four feet. That's a good puppy. Very nice. Next, I'll brush down the hair on the legs with the feet firmly planted on the table and bevel the legs down near the floor. Keeping a nice full bell bottom look. I want my bevels to match both in the front and the rear so that they look balanced. Trim the flank area tight and right in front of the back leg, trim about one inch straight down. Good girl. Yeah. 
right? He's so cute. This one, stay. Stay. Good girl. That's very, very good. So pretty. Using my straight shears, I am going to snip around the edges of the ears, making sure they're nice and tight, being very careful not to nip the ear. For the top of the head, I'm going to comb the bangs forward using my straight shears. I'm going to scissor a bang. Comb the hair back. Stretch the skin on the top of the skull back. Pull forward this little piece that comes out and snip that off. Check her muzzle, make sure no hair is poking up towards the eyes. You're joking. You're fine. Now we're going to round the face. Comb this hair on the sides down and trim it around up behind the ear on both sides. Comb the hair up in between my fingers. And I don't want this hair any longer than the tops of her ears. Comb it back down. Comb this part back. I'm taking my Zolita Curved Blenders going to blend this hair back into the short hair on the body. This hair on the ears where you see this definite line, I can fold the ear down a bit and blend this. to lessen the appearance of that line. Good girl. Now I'm gonna comb this hair backwards and round it up. Being very careful not to nick the ear. Match that on the other side. Good girl. Comb everything forward.
and check for balance. Neatening everything up. Going to tilt her muzzle downwards and any hair that falls past the nose, I'm going to trim back. This keeps the face much cleaner when they're eating. My clients love that I do this. Trim this hair behind the ears. Using a five blade, I'm going to clip off this hair on the chest to blend it into what we did with the seven blade earlier. Now we're going to put a cute little bow in our top knot. Check under the bow with the comb. Make sure that no skin was caught up in there. All right, there's Bella. She is all ready to go home. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss a single upload. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye.